good morning friends uh, in this video lecture we will be talking about uh, uh, bacterial cell shapes and their arrangements so let us see what different types of shapes bacteria form uh, bacteria form uh, well, most of the bacteria have this type of spherical shape that is called cocci and the genera that belong to this group are streptococcus staphylococcus diplococcus and so on they all are spherical bacteria there is another type which is most predominant is the rod shaped bacteria these are rod separate bacteria. They are rods or you can call them bacilli. Bacilli or bacilli. The genus Bacillus is the representative of this. Bacillus subtilis, Bacillus megatherium. There are so many species. Bacillus, Lactobacillus, uh, Pseudomonas. This is a gram negative bacteria. This is a gram positive bacteria. All are uh, rod shaped bacteria. There is another in between characteristic neither rod, neither cocci. Those are called a little bit egg shaped. Those are called coccobacilli. Examples of this could be Ocrobacterum, a relatively less known bacterium. Ocrobacterum species are mm, Intermedium, Varizae, etc. Uh, <coughs> there is another type of bacteria, those are curved shepherd or comma shepherd bacteria, also called uh, literally known as Vibrio comma separate bacteria. The example is Vibrio cholerae. So this is a Vibrio shaped or comma shaped bacterium. The next is the spiral bacterium like this. The example this is spirally, spirally uh, example will be Aquaspirillum Magnetotacticum. The species would be there is another spiral but flexible like this spiral bacteria with flexibility. The uh, example is Spirochete. The next will be there are some bacteria which are filamentous or mycelial. They grow like a fungal mycelia and form colonies, star shaped colonies, hence they are also called actinomycetes and they form conidia at the top. Not all members, but some of them form conidia as reproductive units. These are mycelial. Bacteria. The example is Actinomyces group of bacteria. Genus will be Streptomyces. The soil bacteria. There is another filamentous bacteria. Those are called Chloroflexes. The photosynthetic bacterium of the family Ectothyrodospiraceae because they deposit uh, sulfur on outer side, ectothio, thio means sulfur, ecto means outer side, uh, external. So these are all filamentous bacteria. The example is chloroflexus. Mm, you must cite uh, some example of stalked bacterium like uh, this one. 
the Galionella. They secrete external stocks like this. These are polysaccharide like uh, secretions outside the cell. There is stocked bacteria. Example is Galionella. And the other is another type of bacterium which forms, uh, they, those do not form stock, but uh, they are the elongation of cell proper, like this one. This is basically a stock like structure, but these are not um, uh, truly stocks, they are called prostica. And these bacteria are called prostricate bacteria. Prostica are uh, elongation of cell proper. They contain protoplasm inside. This is an example of uh, um, Galionella. No, this is colobacterium, colobacter. Gal Galionella is the upper one, stock bacteria. This is colobacter. Another example of prostricate bacterium is uh, rhodomicrobium. It forms prostica like this and when they divide they, they may form spore in the middle like this. This is a thick walled spore inside in the middle. This is the prostica. So this is the example of rhodomicrobium. R H O D O. So these are uh, there are some other type of uh, shapes we see in the bacterial system. Those are called uh, cyanomorphic bacteria, like the, this one. This one is represented by uh, it is quite similar to oscillatoria. That's why they are called cyanomorphic bacteria. Uh, cyano, uh, oscillatoria is a cyanobacteria. They they are quite similar to cyanobacteria. This is known as Bagiatoa. Another is uh, this type of bacterium, which is also very much similar to cyanobacteria. The name is uh, Vitreocella. This is Vitreocella. So there are a number of bacterial shapes and uh, sizes we already have talked about. Now let us uh, see how many, uh, what type of arrangement they pose. So first of the arrangement is the unicellular independent arrangement and then they, when they divide into the form sometimes they form a duplex up like this these are um, example of uh, diplococcus and uh, again they continue to divide uh, laterally and form they remain attached with one another forming a chain like a strip like arrangement this is called streptococcus Again, when the plane of division is uh, many, that means the cell can divide on all sides, then they form uh, irregular structures. These are staphylococci, grape like arrangement, staphylococcus rather. Another example is the tetrad because they divide in two planes, forming four cells like this. These are tetrads. And sometimes when they divide in three planes, so they form a cubical structure. Uh, cells on opposite side also like this. This cubical shape, this cubical shape, this type of bacteria are called sarcina. And there are arrangements of the bacilli, different types of arrangement. They remain independent. Sometimes they form chains like this because they divide transversely and before getting separated, they remain in chains. So bacilli in chain. Okay. Sometimes these bacilli may divide longitudinally and they remain like this, forming, taking a shape of matchsticks or Chinese letters sometimes. 
This is the characteristic of uh, uh, Coranibacterium diphtheri. Coranibacterium diphtheri, the pathogen of diphtheria. The Chinese little like arrangement. Arrangement. So mm, these are different types of cellular arrangements of bacteria that we see. Sometimes we also see netted structures like this. They are in chains, but they sometimes they form nets of these chains like this. And shown. This is an example of uh, say thiodictium. Another example, they form pad-like structures. This is an example of, this is um, represented by thiopedia. It is thiopedia and thiodictin, both are photosynthetic bacteria, mm, sulfur, green sulfur bacteria. And these are, the, this is diplococci. In fact, diplococci, streptococci, and staphylococci all remain in unicellular stage also like this. You can call them coccus simply. So these are the different types of cellular arrangement we find in bacterial system. Thank you very much for your attention.